Hi, we're Pastor Jerry and Julie Jenkins, Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles, a ministry without walls and boundaries. In fact, it's a threefold ministry. First of all, helping people receive salvation through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Secondly, helping people receive deliverance from the slavery of addiction. And thirdly, helping people receive healing in their spirit, mind, soul, and body. And this is the word for the week. And the word for this week is, where do we go from here? Well, we just celebrated the 4th of July, Independence Day. That was our last video where we celebrated America's birthday and a country that with liberty and justice and freedom for all. Well, that, the last... At least that's where we started out as. But at the same time as Christians, we want to celebrate the freedom we have through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which we still have. And also, it's an internal freedom. It's a freedom that's everlasting, that we can always celebrate whether we're here on earth or in heaven. Now, the next exciting holiday we have is Labor Day, which we will celebrate on Monday, September 5th, which is one of the most exciting holidays of the year for Jerry and I. Yes. We will celebrate our 30th wedding anniversary. Isn't that awesome? 30 years, 30 Julie. years together in ministry. Yeah. See, Michael, it was yesterday. Yes, it does. It went so quickly. What's another birthday now? Another, another. major holiday. Yeah that Jewish people will celebrate is Rosh Hashanah at sundown on September 25th to sub sundown September 26th, which is also called the Feast of Trumpets. Mm. And this is a time of year when many end-time prophecy teachers believe that the rapture of the church could possibly happen on that day because uh, Jesus was sacrificed on Passover and God did other things according to the biblical holidays right on time. And so we're thinking that this could also be uh, the time when when it's possible that the rapture could happen on, on this very Rosh Hashanah. Well, if anyone does if anyone doesn't know about the rapture of the church, Julie, it's found in First Thessalonians four, sixteen through eighteen. And here's what it says. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the clouds. And thus we will be with the Lord forever. Go ahead, Julie. Therefore comfort one another with these words. These are people who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So we encourage you to go to 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18, and become familiar with the blessed hope we have in Jesus. Okay, it's also talking about Israel. Right. Because Israel, everything started there, and everything's going to finish there, right? Yes. Because Israel is God's chosen people. Am I correct? Yes, and that it was they were entrusted with the word of God itself, the Bible. Yes. And so it, out of that nation comes a lot of promises, and the promises overflow to all nations, but it started in Israel because they, there had to be a Messiah that came through the tribe of Israel. Now, Israel was, was out of country for many years, right? Yes. Because the Babylonians had taken over, right? Right. Okay, but Israel was rebirthed. Now, this is God's chosen people. They were dispersed after the Babylonians took over, and then they came back to the land, but it was never um, really their land exclusively because the Romans took over, and then they dispersed them in 70 AD. And now the nation, like you said, has been rebirthed in May 14th, 1948, just like the Bible said it would because God says, will a nation be born in one day? Yes. And so this is a fulfillment of that prophecy in the Old Testament. Well, then Matthew 24, 32 through 35 talks about this. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When the branches are already become tender and put forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So when you see all these things, know that it is near at the door. And verse 34 says what? 
And surely I say to you, again, verse 34 says, this generation will by no means pass away to all till all these things pass take pl- place. Uh-huh. So what is a generation, Pastor Jerry? Well, Psalms 90.10 says a generation is 70 years. And it goes on to say, and by if for, sin, for strength, it could be 80 years. So a generation 70 years, but if God gives it a person more strength, it could be 80 years. Well, Israel was rebirthed May 14th, 1948. 70 years would be May 14th, 2018. 80 years would be May 14th, 2028. So we're well, right now in that 10 year window, aren't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's exactly where we are. Now, what else does it say? Well, however, the reason that many end time prophecy teachers believe that the rapture of the church could happen on September 5th, 25th, or 26th on this Rosh Hashanah is because of a scripture found in Matthew 24, where Jesus is telling his disciples when the rapture would take place. And let me read that to you. Look that up for yourselves also in your Bible in Matthew 24, 11 through 14. And also contact us if you don't have a Bible. We'll, we'd like to get yes. you a Bible. Yes. Then it says, many, Jesus is speaking, many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Well, we're seeing that today. Yeah, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. Now who's going to be saved? He who endures to the end. Yes. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to the nations. And then the end will come. Okay, let's stop right there for a minute. This is a key verse. Over the years, uh, like when I was a young man, I remember the first TV and computers then finally came along and now cell phones and everything. And up till now, the gospel has never, ever been able to be preached in all the world. But now through technology, in fact, when we get done with this program, we're going to take it and put it on our YouTube channel, right? Yeah, right. And then it's going to be seen all over the world, right? right? We have pe- people in Africa watching it. We have people in India watching it. We have people watching this program all over the world. Well, up until now, the gospel could not be preached in all the world because until electronic devices came out, there wasn't enough people to go all over the world. Right. But right now, because of satellite TV, because of Starlink, uh, yeah, Elon Starlink, Starlink. Yeah. that's uh, a perfect example. Yeah, and also they, uh, in places where the Bible is forbidden, a lot of missionaries will smuggle them in on a thumb drive, just a yes. little tiny, or they'll have a tiny recorder that they can smuggle into the people. So, and then Jesus is also showing up in dreams where yes. the, the the gospel is suppressed or, or repressed or rewritten in some places of how, the world. How big is a thumb drive again? Not very big. It's like, about that's why it's called a thumb drive. Yeah. It's about yeah. this big. Yeah. It's not too and big. Years ago, we could have never done that. Oh, but we can real. mail that to somebody today. They can take that thumb drive mm-hmm. and tell them what will they do with it. Then they can plug it into their computer or in, into any laptop and then they can read the language uh, of, in their own language, the gospel, yes. you know, in awesome. the word of God. It's so awesome what God has done. So Jesus, what Jesus said would be fulfilled has been fulfilled. Yes. And it's amazing because it, the witness has gone out to all the nations. Yes. And so we're looking toward that end. That wasn't possible until today with today's technology. Well, I have a question for you. Are you ready? Are you ready today? If the rapture of the church were to happen today, would you be left behind? The thing is, this is a very serious matter. I know we've heard this all my life, Mm -hmm. that the rapture was going to happen, and it never happened. Many people said it was going to happen in 1988, and it never happened. Many people said it was going to happen here or there. But nothing, these scriptures had never been fulfilled till today. And then the end will come. We are there. The question is, are you ready? If you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today's the day you can do that. Julie, how do they go about that? Well, it's very easy. It's very simple. All you have to do is say, 
this prayer to God, Father God, dear God, I thank you, Lord, that you hear my prayer for help. Mm -hmm. Lord, I receive Jesus, his atonement for me on the cross yes. as perfect payment for all of my sins. Lord, I thank you that through you I am saved and I surrender myself to you, my entire life to you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you that you not only paid for my sins, but you rose again on the third day and that you'll be coming back soon. So, Lord Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Lord and Savior, and I surrender to you today. That's all you have to do, and he'll come in and he'll take over your whole entire life, and then you can cast all your cares on him, because we were never intended to carry the burdens that we see today. Amen. But God's you, to carry him. You said a real key us. there, when I surrender my life. Amen. That, it's the just that salvation simple. is when we say, God, I can't do it. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not able. I just surrender my life. I give it all to you. And then he takes over, and then he takes over and he'll meet our every need. Mm -hmm. He'll never ask us to do anything that he doesn't give us everything we need to do that. Amen? Amen. And so I want to thank you for, for saying that prayer. And if you said that prayer today, give us a call at 217-617-5577. Then we'll help you work through anything you need to know about what you need to do to live for Jesus. Now, there's something I remember. We've got some people we need to thank, Julie. Yes, we'd like to thank Nick Examus of Westtown Ford Lincoln of Jacksonville, Illinois, our Faith Foundation partners and viewers like you for making these programs possible. Amen. And if it wasn't for our Faith Foundation partners and the people that send the finances that we need to keep this ministry going, we couldn't do what we're doing. So we want to say a special thanks to you today. And... So we're running out of time, Julie. This time, we're going to have to go, right? Yeah, and so visit our website at www.addictionfreeinchrist.com for more information or give us a call again at 217-617-5577. We'd like to lead you to the Lord today or to help you and pray with yes, you. Yes, for anything you need. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later.